Welcome. Um, today is Wednesday, January 8th, and 65 days from this moment, the show will be in full swing with buyers and media walking the aisles. If you haven't started your show prep, now is the time to do it. And today we're going to talk about how to maximize your trade show investment at the Inspired Home Show. And we're going to focus on getting media attention and the services that IHA offers exhibitors to help you reach consumer and trade media before, during, and after the show. Um, as most of you should know by now, last year, um, just before the International Home, Home and Houseware Show in 2019, IHA announced that the show was being rebranded and reimagined to the Inspired Home Show, IHA's global home and housewares marketplace this year. There have been several evolutions in the home and houseware space over the last couple of decades. There was a time when low price and functionality won the day, then consumers started gravitating toward products that were well designed and aesthetically pleasing as well as functional. These days, the consumer is really looking to build a personal brand and a lifestyle that home and housewares products have to fit into. And many of these consumers are taking their cues from influencers both retail brand influencers and social media influencers. The name change to the Inspired Home Show signals a shift in focus from basic product functionality and design to lifestyle development. Consumers are curating their own lifestyles and seeking out products and retailers that they feel align with their own personal brand. The Inspired Home Show this year is not just going to have a new name. It's going to have a, little, a different look. We've got a lot of exciting new displays um, this year, and also that they've moved from some of their usual locations. So we're excited about the show, um, March 14th through 17th, and we're going to get started now to talk about helping you be successful. I'm Debbie Tushke, the Senior Manager of Public Relations and Communications at IHA, and with me today is Diana Smolgen of our show public relations team. The team works with me to pitch the consumer media for the show. Hello, Hi, everyone. Di. <laughs> Um, and there's our contact information. Um, we'll have this again at the end of the webinar, um, so you don't have to worry about writing it down. Also, the webinar is being recorded and will be posted on our website. We'll send you a link um, either later today or tomorrow with, that, with the um, link to the webinar, so you can listen to it later or have a colleague or a PR agency representative listen to this webinar um, at their convenience. We're going to take questions during the webinar. Please use the chat function to ask them, um, and then we'll, you know, we'll break in during the webinar and answer them um, whenever we need to. And again, the webinar is being recorded, so you can share it with your agency or your other team members who handle public relations. So reaching the consumer is my job um, to help you reach the consumer at the show um, through the news media. And the 2019 show generated over 500 million consumer impressions in the news media. We want you to be part of that coverage. Um, last year, we had about 300 companies that were part of this coverage, and you know we um, they and the coverage lasts throughout the year. It doesn't happen just during the four days of the show. This, these consumer impressions went through actually um, through December. We still had some articles. Um, in the news media about um, new products that were making their debut last March. Now, Diana is going to talk with you a bit about preparation before the show. Hi, and thanks again for listening today. We want to help you have the best show possible and make the most of your investment. PR is an important component of your show effort, and a little time and planning up front can help ensure that your efforts are successful. First, as in anything, make a plan. Set your goals so that you know what you are working toward. This slide gives a few reminders that your goals should be measurable, realistic, considering your resources, um, which goes along with being realistic, uh, and knowing your timeline, and really planning right now what you're gonna do to follow up. Ask yourself, what does success look like? It's pretty hard to know what that, if you've made it, um, unless you've spent some time thinking about what, what that's going to be. 
think about who you are trying to reach, the message you're trying to convey, what you need to accomplish it, accomplish, and then the steps and timing to get there. Debbie has put together a team of experienced PR professionals that work together from November through April to pitch the show to all facets of the consumer media. Besides Deb and myself, you might meet or work with Cynthia, Jay, Christine, Carly, Chris, Lisa Casey Weiss, Lynn, or one of our junior team members. I'd like to share a little bit more about what the team does and how we work so that you understand the importance of the product information we request. Pre-show, we review new products as well as look at trends from current information, statistics, and research. We use all of that to put together media pitches and reach out to and work with the consumer media. The new product information for the news media, that was the old name, has a new name and Deb will be talking about that a little bit later. But remember when we do talk about it that photos and details are critical. We are already working with media and began, beginning to plan pitches, stories, and segments that include new products as, as examples. We also put together a new product room within the press room where we give previews um, for media who are attending the show. We give them kind of a glimpse um, and get a better idea of exactly what they're looking for before we hit the show floor. Um, and sometimes uh, even bloggers and influencers will shoot, shoot Facebook, Facebook, excuse me, and Instagram videos in the room itself. On site, we work with media at the show as well as long distance. This also includes pre-producing or putting together themed TV segments and props, often before the show even begins. Another note here, the team works very hard, not only to place as many stories as possible uh, about the show and its participants, but to give visibility to as many products as com and companies as we can. We call it sharing the love. I can't stress enough that we can't help give your products visibility if we don't know about them. And the earlier, the better. And uh, Deb's gonna be talking a little bit more about that. Right. Thanks, Di. Um, now I'd like to take a, just a minute to talk about Housewares Connect 365, which is our online directory for the show. And this is a dynamic tool and it's free to exhibitors that will help you reach your customers, your buyers, and the media year round. Um, this is where I send the news media when they call me either before the show or after the show or in the fall, and they're looking for companies and new products, and I will send them to Housewares Connect 365 to search um, our directory of exhibitors and you know just to find you. So it's very important that you keep your company listing up to date year-round um, so that the buyers are able to find you and your brands and your products before, during, and after the show. And again, this is free. We are one of the few shows that offer a free directory like this, so we really want you to take advantage of it. Now, um, why should you use Housewares Connect 365? Last year, we had more than 300,000 searches that were conducted by consumers, um, media, and the buyers for the 2019 show. And our SEO is very good for um, Housewares Connect 365. So many times when a consumer is searching for a company, our website comes up first before even your own um, brand website. Also, listings and catalogs and with um, product images were viewed 75% more frequently than those without. So that's, it's really important that you post photos along with your listings um, in some of the services that we're going to talk about. And over the next few slides, I'll explain how 365 can help you and how you can access your listing. If you have any questions about updating your listing, contact your trade show sales manager and she can help you. Again, these are some of the things that you can do in your profile. Um, you can add a company description, and this is important because it will help generate interest by telling buyers and media and consumers in your own words 
who you are, what your products are, what you do. If you're having an anniversary this year or you're doing something special, make sure you put that in the company description. And the company description is searchable, so if someone goes um, to the search page and in the, and in the keyword box they put a certain term and that pops up in your company description, your listing will um, come up as one of the results. Also, again, post your catalogs, your product images, you can do videos, and your company logo in the listing as well. Add your in-booth appearances, um, and that's something I'll talk about a little bit later. Also, made in the USA. If you, your, your products are made in the USA, be sure that you select that, because the news media are looking for products that are made in the USA, not just the buyers. And then the same with smart home. If you have smart or connected products, Make sure that you um, highlight your company as a smart home um, company, and the media will be searching for those as well. And then you can add information about special events, celebrations, milestones, and your press releases. Now, this is the search page that everybody goes to on 365, and what we're showing here is the various list of things they can search by. And I've hi highlighted the featured new products for media and buyers, and we'll talk about that in a minute, but that, that's one of, the term, one of the searches that they can do to find you and to find your new products. Um, also, your Healthwares Connect 365 profile feeds our show application. So you, you definitely want to make sure that that's up to date because the buyers and the media will be using the mobile app on site to uh, look up exhibitors, to look for products, um, and you know new companies. The app is free and it's also available for download now either through um, iTunes or the Google Play Store. So to update your company profile, you're going, you'll go to the inspiredhomeshow.com website and then hover over exhibit and then you'll see on the bottom it says update your company profile. Click there and then it'll take you to the exhibitor portal. Now this sign-in portal is pretty key for a lot of the services that we're going to be talking about today because you'll have to do it, um, you'll have to access the services through this portal. So you'll come here and you'll sign in. If you are a PR agency for, for an exhibitor and they have added you as a contact in their listing, you will be able to sign in. All you do is enter your email and then if this is the first time that you are accessing the portal, Click Reset Password so you can create your account and create a password, and then you can get in. Then once, once you log in, you'll come here to update your online company profile. You'll click here, and then it'll bring you to this list of things that you can do to um, enhance your profile and add your information. Okay, now we're going to get to the marketing kit, which is what you, you're here to you signed on to hear about today. Um, so to get to the Exhibitor Marketing Kit, you'll go to the inspiredhomeshow.com webpage, and then under Exhibit, um, click on Marketing Kit. Now, we sent out a, a print kit back in November, and most of you may have received that. The website includes all of the services that we offer and is um, a tool to, it goes hand in hand with the print piece, just kind of guides you through everything, but all of the details are here on the website. And this is the landing page for the marketing kit and with all the different tiles. And then what you'll see is um, Attract Media, and you'll click on that one to get to all of the services we'll talk about today. And here they are. Um, so we have the show preview press event, the traveling media tour, the media registration list, um, press kit information, the featured new products for news media and buyers, and trade pub publication opportunities, which we'll be discussing in a few minutes. Um, this is, on the left, is the printed um, piece that you received. And then these are all the opportunities that we're going to talk about right now that you can take advantage of before the show. You can you know, get media attention during the show, but a lot of the things we offer you have to do right now. And the first is our pre-show press event. It's January 30th in New York City, and this is a great way for you to stand out from the crowd. The show has over 2,200 exhibitors. The press event has 60, so it's a very much smaller, um, more casual event, and it's an exclusive event. You're one of 60 companies 
um, and not, you know, 2200. It's a great way to jumpstart your PR. We get about 60 to 70 consumer and trade editors, and media invites have gone out, and so far we've, we've heard from Wall Street Journal, Associated Press, Business Insider, Fox Business, Yahoo Finance, um, the Lifestyle Magazines, Real Simple, Better Homes and Gardens, Forbes.com, Good Housekeeping, O Magazine, um, and media RSVPs are, are coming in every day. We also have a lot of bloggers who have uh, signed up already. So this is your chance to meet with them one-on-one -on -one in a little personal um, setting and show show them your products. You will receive- Abby? Um, yes. I'm so yes. sorry, we do have a quick question. Um, sure. Could you, uh, they would like to know how much uh, the cost of the PR event in New York? The press event, um, it is $1,500 for a table, and that includes one company representative, along with electricity if you needed to demonstrate your product, Wi-Fi service, um, all the promotion that we do, and then lunch and refreshments. And that's a great price. I think it's very cost effective because um, if you were to go to New York and try and meet with 20 different companies, you'd have to be there for a couple of days. Here you can do this in four hours and you know meet with um, the editors in, in the smaller setting. We still have some tables available. Did we have another question? No, um, that's so we have a little. More tables available, and if you need, um, a, if you want to participate, please sign up um, after the webinar. The website will stay up until you know that we are sold out. Um, you will also receive the complete media attendee contact details, which you know you, so you can follow up with everybody who um, came or people who didn't come because we do have some editors who they are CV but they don't show up. Another benefit of participating in this is that my PR team will review the product information that you submit for this. We do a product catalog that we give to all the media who attend and then send to those who can't come. And this is another way that my team finds out about the new products to um, pitch to the media that they're working with right now. So, you know, they're asking, even though it's January and the show's in March, uh, Diane will tell, will tell you that the media are asking, what's new? What's going to be at the show this year? And this is one way that they will find out about that. Um, next is the show media list. And we have the 2019 media list is posted on the website. And this list is free for you to download and use to create your pitch list for the show. It does include the email addresses of media contacts if they were provided to us and they said that we could um, put them up there. Also, you can download the list from the exhibitor portal. The 2020 pre-registered media list will be available in mid-February on the same site. Now, when you go to the exhibitor portal and you'll log in, the media list is on the same page as the buyer's list. So if you've been in there to download the buyer's list, the media list was there, um, and then the 2020 pre-registered list will be on the same site in um, about a month. Next we have the traveling media tour. And this is a way to promote products to consumers through in-studio TV segments um, across the country. And remember, buyers watch TV too. Now this is something that there is a fee associated with. Um, it does cost about between $10,000 and $12,000 depending on how many segments you, you do participate in. Um, category exclusivity is based on your product's features, and it takes place a few weeks before the show. It, hap it happens probably about late February, early March this year because we're mid-March, and we go to about 10 to 15 um, markets ar around the country, and we go in studio with the reporter, and they talk about the products um, as, it is, as it's like a little news segment. This is the only media tour sanctioned by IHA. It's provided by a third-party vendor and she will work with you and work with your budget if you say, well, you know, 12,000 is too much for me. Um, but, you know, she will, she will work with you on different packages. Um, last year's publicity value for the tour was $236,000 that exhibitors received. And a couple of years ago, we had one exhibitor participate and they were thrilled because they said they were um, 
trying to get a, a well-known retailer to come see them at the show, and they never re would respond to them. Well, I guess the buyer happened to be watching the tour. They saw the tour. It came to their city, and they saw the product, and they came to see the exhibitor at the show, and that just made the exhibitor's show. So you do get the effect you know, with the buyers, too, as well as the consumers knowing about your product. Now I want to talk about the featured new products for news media and buyers. And this is a service that we've offered for a while. Um, we, it used to be called New Product Information for News Media. These listings are housed in Housewares Connect 365 in your profile on 365. And in the past, they were only viewable by the news media if they registered for a briefcase. Well, this year we've decided to open up your exposure for these new products to um, the buyers after I've, I've received comments from the exhibitors in the past that they you know, would like to have a little bit more exposure. So what we've done is opened it up. You don't have to be in your briefcase to see it. You don't have to be just news media to, to see it. And that's, um, as I sh showed you, that there's a listing um, on 365 that anyone can search. And this is another way how my PR team finds the new products, because what I will do is give them the listings as they come in. Right now, we've already had a, a few hundred entered, um, and so I'll be sh sharing those with the team. And then they look for products to see how they fit into the lifestyle trends that we've identified, and also products that would be of interest to the media. 70% of the products that are requested by my show team we used in news coverage stories. And so that's a lot. So if you submit these a listing, there's a good chance that you might be included in some of our news coverage. And again, nearly 300 exhibitors were featured in this media coverage. Um, what's new is the number one question that I am asked um, by the media. They want to know about the new products at the show. And so this is um, the way for you to tell us about this. So on the marketing kit page, you click on Featured New Products for Buyers and Media, and that'll take you to this landing page that explains everything about the information that we'll ask you about. Not all of the information in the form goes in your listing, and we explain that um, a lot of it is for the benefit of my PR team, so they understand how your product works and how it should be demonstrated and what some of the benefits are. So then when you click the Get Started button, it will take you to the Exhibitor Portal sign-in, and then update your company online profile, click that, and then you'll go down to the featured new products for news media and buyers, and then click on that to take you to the entry form. Then this is the House Risk Connect 365 search page, and under the search type, they will, um, they will look for featured new products for buyers and media, and then this is a list of all of the categories that the products are classified into. So when you fill out the entry form, you'll select the product category that you want your um, product included in, and then this is how the media will search for the products. Next is our online press room. And I know a lot of people don't want to do printed press kits. They want to do digital press kits. And right now, um, 365 does not have the capability to include your press kits. So we have partnered with the Virtual Press Office, which is owned by Cision and PR Newswire, for an online press room. And you can purchase um, a package for an online press kit. The, the smallest packages, they started at $425. So I think everybody, whether you're a large company or a small company, can take advantage of this. And last year, the um, 2019 press room had almost 3,000 page views and nearly 80 keyword searches were um, done from November to June. Your information stays up there until next fall. So it's not just, it doesn't come down after the show, it doesn't come down in, in June, it stays up there. So if um, any media are looking for product information and VPO does, um, pitch out to the, the media that sign up with them, and so they let them know about the press kits up there. And only 2020 confirmed exhibiting companies can participate, so this is something just for Housewares show exhibitors. You're, um, anyone who's not in the show cannot be up there. And then 
Because it is um, PR Newswire, they also offer some news release distribution packages. So if you're interested in putting out a press release on the Newswire, please contact them and they will work with you. They have some nice packages put together for our exhibitors. Now I want to talk about the trade publication opportunities. Um, we, we talk mostly about the consumer media and how, you know, because everybody wants to get to the consumer media and, you know, get your products in there. But don't forget about the trade publications. The buyers read the trade publications, and that's who they turn to for information about new products and new companies. And so we have three services in the marketing kit to help you get to them. The first is a list of the editorial contacts for the, for the pub. Mag for the magazines, you can take and create your um, pitch list from, from that list. Then we have a new product news section. And the trade pubs want to know about your new product news. And this is a free editorial opportunity. You do not have to pay for it. It's not advertising. It's editorial, and so it's free. And you know, several of the publications do a show issue. Um, Home World Business, HSN, and Kitchenware News do show dailies. Um, at the show, and so they need this information for that as well. So on the website, you'll see the submission information, including the contact specifications, what, what kind of products they're looking for for various categories. And we also include the international trade publications. And don't you know, forget about the international magazines, because that is the way for you to the international buyers who come to the show. And we get thousands of international buyers um, from around the globe that come to the show and are looking for, you know, new products and new suppliers. So make sure you, you look at them. Um, the international publications do have earlier deadlines than the domestic ones. And now that we're at the beginning of the year, the domestic publications are coming up very quickly as well. And again, this is a free editorial opportunity, so please don't miss out on it. And lastly, if you do want to advertise um, in, in the magazines, we do have a list of the advertising deadlines and the contacts up there so you can give that to your media buyer and then you can place them advertising. Now, the second most um, thing I'm asked at the show is what, what's going on? What special events are there? Who's going to be there? What celebrities, what celebrity chefs are going to be in the exhibitor's booth? And the special events and product demonstration um, service is a way for you to let of the show attendees know about who's going to be in your booth. You can spread the word about your celebrity chef, or if you're having a, a celebrity that promotes your product, or a designer, or any kind of a special event. You can enter it, and this it goes in your 365 listing, and it is viewable to everybody who um, searches 365. And you access it through your exhibitor um, port, through the exhibitor portal, through the checklist. You click on update your online company profile for exhibitors and then choose the special events um, product demonstration listing. And again, this is free. So if you're having several events um, during the show, you know, make sure that you add them. And the same with the new products. Um, you can add as many listings of new products as you have because that is all free as well. Now I want to take a few minutes to talk about some services that we have during the show. Um, and most importantly, it's our, we have our show news center, um, which is the home for the media when they come to the show. This is where they come to get their badges. It will put out your press kits for free here, and we'll give them boxes so that they can pack them up, and we'll ship them back to their offices after the show. I cannot ship your extra press kits back to you after the show, so we ask that you come and pick them up on Tuesday before the show closes, um, because I, I know you spend good money on these kits. I mean, they're, some of them are really fabulous kits, and you know, I hate to see you waste them, because anything that's left after we break down the show gets tossed. So please come and pick up your extra kits. But we're in room S401 on level four of the South Building. We're very accessible. Um, we ask for 75 to 100 kits and um, list, you know, what you should include in there. If you're a small company listening today or you don't have a PR person, 
um, to do this for you. We do have a tip sheet in the marketing kit called How to Put Together a Press Kit. So please download that and it'll give you um, some suggestions and guidance on how to put together a press kit. I mean, I've had companies just give us a press release or um, a product sheet. Just having anything in the news center for the media to see will help you um, and get their attention. And then, um, as I said, we we give boxes to the kids for, to send them back to the media. So, that, or, so they have your information all year round. And as you can see in the top left photo, the press kits, we put them up in clear plastic bins, uh, and we do them alphabetical by company. So it's important that you put your company name on the front of the kit or a photo of your product, something to attract their attention. I've, I've had some companies just send me a plain folder with no no wording on the front, and nobody knows who, who that is. I mean, we have to open it to see where we put it in the alphabetical order, but, you know, that that may not get attention from the media because they don't know whose it is. Okay. Um, and if you will be in the news center beginning the Wednesday before the show, so if you um, would like to have a tour when you come to drop off your press kits, Please, you know, ask. We'll be happy to show you around. We would like the kits before, um, by Friday night before the show opens, because the media will be coming at 8 o'clock in the morning, and you don't want to miss any time in front of them. Now, if you're a small company or you, you don't have a PR person or an agency and you want to do a press release but you don't know how to uh, write a press release, we offer a service called My. For a word deck, and you can use however you wish. You can print it on your letterhead for a paper press kit, include it in a digital press kit, post it on your website, um, and you'll send it out to the news media. If you know you, you're sending out your press releases, you can use that. It's done by a third-party vendor who is a very good writer, and has um, our exhibitors have had some great success. <laughs> and then. Um, it's $99 per release. And also, she will do some media distribution for, for you for an additional um, cost. You can talk to her about that as well. Now, I want to take a minute to talk about identifying the media during the show. And, well, media wear blue badges. Um, we used to have, in the past, our badges were in colored holders. This year we're going to a different type of a badge. Everyone has to pick up their badge on site. And it's going to be a large um, paper badge. And I believe the color, the, the printout on the bottom may be a color, but it, it, we're not going to have the color-coded badges as in the past. Um, but it, we classify the media into four different classifications. Um, news media, internet media, bloggers, and social media influencers. And that will be printed on the bottom of their badge. So when they come into your booth and it says news media on it, you're going to know that is your traditional media, like your consumer and trade publications, print, broadcast, um, and the trade publications. Internet media are the news websites, the internet-based publications, um, editors for maybe a print magazine, but they do the digital side, they do their website, they may register as internet media. Then we have bloggers. And these are your mommy bloggers and your foodie bloggers, some lifestyle bloggers, anyone that has maybe 10,000 to 50,000 followers and subscribers. And then we have social media influencers. And these are the people who have over 50,000 followers and subscribers. So they are your larger people, like your YouTube influencers and um, you know, the, the bigger ones um, that, that you see that have you know, nice flags and things as well. So if they come into your um, booth, please talk with them. Now, over the years, our motto at IHA has been publicity is free. If someone wearing a media badge comes in and asks you to pay for coverage, to let us know because then they're a trade guest. They're not news media. That is true for news media and the internet media classifications. In this age of social media um, and we get a lot of bloggers and the influencers, and they're pretty much doing it all. And so they may come and talk to you about um, sponsorships or, you know, 
paying for a post with them or, you know, letting them be a brand ambassador for you. And I understand that that is all a paid thing. And that's fine. Um, you know, we'll, we allow them to do that. So if you have someone that comes in wearing a news media badge or an internet media badge and says, hey, I'll do a video on you, but you have to pay for it, or I'll write an article, but you have to pay for it, let me know, and we won't allow them to be media in the future. Um, but the bloggers and social media influencers are fine if they talk to you about any type of sponsorship. Um, public relations agencies, a lot of our exhibitors have them. I know our smaller companies may not. But if you are interested in talking to an agency about working with them, I do have a list of housewares related agencies that I have worked with over the years, and I am happy to share that with you. Um, please call or email me, and I'll send it to you. Everyone on the list knows that I have this, and I do share it. Um, and so, you know, they're, they're happy about that. Um, everybody likes to get new business. So if you do contact one of the companies, you can always say that you got their name from me and they will know it. it, you know, it just may open the door a little bit for you so they know where you came from. Um, but they're happy to talk with everybody and with all types of companies, you know, large companies, small companies, mid-sized companies, and they generally will work with everybody's budget. So if you're a small company and you really would like to um, work with an agency, don't hesitate um, contacting them. So after the show, um, you know, it's important to do your follow-up as you do before the show. And so about four weeks after the show, we will have the 2020 media list posted. It will be posted at the same time that the buyer list is posted. We'll be sending the show contact at each company an email um, letting them know that these lists are up there. So make sure that you download them. And again, this is free, and we encourage you to use this list to follow up with the media who attended the show. And use it as your year-round pitch list. Uh, we will include the emails if the media um, lets, lets us do that, do that. We do ask them if they want their information posted for the, for the exhibitors. Most people say yes. Some people say no, that they don't want it included. But they will be on the list so you know that they were at the show. And then, again, we want to remind you to update your Housewares Connect 365 listing throughout the year because um, it's important, as I said, I send media there when they call me in July and they want to know about new products, that's where I'm going to send them. So make sure that you keep that up to date. So, I know, Jenny, do we have any questions? I believe, oh, one, um, and I believe you did answer it, but just again, is there a link for the trade publication opportunities? Yes, that is when you go to the, the Attract Media section on the marketing kit, there you'll see the tile that says Trade Publication Opportunities. You click on that, and on the page will be, you know, the, the three different services that I mentioned. All that information will be there. Okay, that's, I believe that's it, Deb and Diana. Well, thank you for joining us today. Um, as I said, we have 65 days until the show, so we have a lot of work to do, and Diana and I are here to help you. We really want you to be part of the media coverage that we get this year, and we want to know about your new products, so please let us know. If you have any questions, um, you know, just contact us, just email us or call me, um, and we wish you a very profitable and successful The Inspired Home Show 2020. Thanks, Deb. Thank you both for another great webinar. Have a great day, everyone.